Hey, what's up you guys and welcome back to Cord Hub and today I'm going to teach you Always Somewhere by the Scorpions and I'm going to teach you guys this uh, song without the use of any bar chords because we're going to simplify it and later on I'm going to teach you the simplified uh, strumming pattern and the actual uh, intro, okay? So before we start, make sure that your guitar is in standard tune. So we start here at the E bass, okay, or the 6th string. And then 5th string, which is the A. And then D. And then G string, which is the 3rd string. And then 2nd string, which is the B string. And then E. So for intro, guys, we have two options. So for those of you who find this difficult, you can actually play the intro with just chords and you, you can just strum it, okay? So for intro, guys, with a strum approach, okay? So we can use the F like this, an F major 7. So this is also the simplified version of the F. Actually, you can use this. Okay, so starting here at the first fret of the second string, then second fret of the third string, and two over here using your pinky finger and ring finger at the third fret of the fifth and fourth string. Okay, so we're also going to uh, to play a, an E minor and then A minor. So for intro, guys, you can use this for the strumming approach. going to play this five times for intro so for strumming pattern so for so intro you can just use any downward strokes okay. and for the last part we prolong the A minor Now I am going to teach you the plucking of the intro. Okay, that's actually the first part. So to make it easier for you to follow along, we will number the strings. This is one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. So for the intro, we start here at the fifth, uh, the fifth uh, string, and then the plaque begins here at the two number two string, okay? And the pattern is two, three, four, two, three, four, and and we end it here at the two for the C chord, okay? The first uh, chord, okay? Again. This is the last note for the C, but we play this with an open second string, okay, like this. Okay, so we exclude the index finger as the last note, okay. Okay, that's the pattern for C, and after this. We go now to the G chord. So the G chord we are going to use here is this one. And the pattern is this one. Okay, we start here at the sixth string and then an upward plaque from the first string. The pattern is one, two, three, one, two, three, and then one. But we uh, this time we exclude the ring finger okay and be playing the the open e note okay again for g okay again from the top guys two three four two three four two and then for g one two three one two three one 
then we go now to the third chord which is the F so the F we're going to use here is this one so start here at the second string third fret and then second fret of the third string and here at the third uh, fret of the fourth string okay so after the G we position our hands like this and then play this one okay again okay so we position our hands like this and the pluck the plucking pattern is this one over here the fourth then one two three okay four one two three so after the three we move it down the base from here to here using the index finger and then we're going to have an e minor chord and then the plucking will be the same four one two three okay so again from here f four one two three then move it down and four one two three okay and then we go now to the last chord which is the a minor chord okay so from the top guys again chord okay this is the pattern for the last chord the base of A and then upward so from here fifth uh, string and then upward one two three and then one okay that's the pattern for the A minor so again from here four one two three four one two three and then five one two three one and after this and we go back to the c chord with this riff okay so from a minor and then go back to that pattern So for A minor guys, we have three variations. Okay, we all, we already knew the first uh, variation, this one. The second variation is this one. Okay, and then we go back to here. Okay, so again for the second variation, hammer on here at the first fret of the second string again and then upward the three and the four okay and then this one ends the variation of a minor again okay so for first variation second variation Anyway, I'm going to show this uh, later. And for the third variation, guys, we're going to have this. Okay. So, we start here at the fifth string and then the plucking pattern is one, two, three, four times. Okay, again. By the way guys, if you think that this tutorial is helpful, please support my channel by liking this video and comment down your song requests and don't forget to subscribe and uh, click on the notification bell below because every day I am going to upload a new tutorial. And now guys, this is the full intro. And now guys, this is the full intro.
Raspberry John. And back here. Perspiration again. So for verse guys, actually we still have the same chord set, okay? So we can play this uh, either we black this one or we strum this, but the chords are still the same. intro guys we go back to intro okay and after the intro we go back again to verse and then chorus so for chorus guys we have this So for the strumming pattern guys, you can use this, down, 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 up, okay, this is the whole cycle, down, 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 up, and then change chord, down, 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 up, change chord, down, 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 up, down, so you just connect it and you master it, okay, again. And that's it guys for the course of this song. I hope you like the tutorial. Thank you.